into my barn. Amen. Lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man. The good seed are the children of the kingdom of God. And the tears are the children of the wicked one. The parable of the tears, also known as the parable of the wheat and tears, are the parable of the weed and the grain. This parable of Jesus appears in the Gospel of the New Testament according to Matthew during the final judgment. The angel will separate the sons of the evil one, which are the tears or the weeds, from the sons of the kingdom, which are the weeds. Touch your neighbor and say, are you wheat or are you tears? Are you wheat or are you tears this morning? The definition of wheat is a cereal plant that is the mostly grown in warm temperature countries. The grain of which is grown to make flour for bread, pasta, you know the whole thing when you got the bread, it's wheat. Then you have the tears. It's a species of rye grass, the seeds of which are strong and is poisonous. Touch your neighbor and say, which one are you? I'm getting here. Which one are you? Are you the wheat or are you the tears? No had experience in farming. Glory to God. And in order to get a good crop, it takes a lot of work. The farmer that planted the wheat, he had no doubt that the wheat he planted the seeds were good seeds. He had no problem to know that when the seeds grow, that they will produce good food and good wheat. But the plan of the enemy was to destroy the wheat by sowing tears in the wheat. Hallelujah. And as the wheat grows, he realized that there's something wrong. That among the wheat, there is something that's growing that he didn't plant it. There is something growing up that's getting into the way of the production of his wheat. Hallelujah. It's like some of us, we grow up and the enemy is attacking us from we're small. And he attack us when we're in middle age. And he attack us when we're old. Because you know that there's something inside of you that's very important to God. The tears enter the wheat because the wheat was important. You got to realize that the enemy is not fighting the wheat. He's fighting the owner. Wheat is just wheat. Wheat has nothing to gain from it but wheat. But the owner has something to gain. The owner is the one who's going to lose out. So the enemy attacked the wheat. So the owner will feel it. It's just like in the church. You're a cancel of the wheat. And then you have more reverend than you have Jesus. The enemy will attack the wheat. Because he knows that once he gets to you, the owner will feel it. That's right, true. Glory to God. But thank God that we have an anchor that keeps us whole. Set fast and sure while the billows roll. And we are weak of God, but God can keep us. The devil only bothers you because there is something inside of you. That he wants. Glory to God. When he went and he said to God, if you just remove the shield around Job, just remove it a little bit because there was something inside of Job. If you remove it, Job will not praise you. And God said, really? And God removed the shield from around Job. And the devil said, that's what I want. He killed his cattle. That's all right. His wife, his family, everybody was destroyed. Yes. And on top of that, he gave him a lot of sickness. Yes. But the enemy doesn't realize that he can touch everything around you. But he can't touch your soul. Yes. He messed up Job's belongings. Yes. He destroyed him. He gave him sickness. But there's one thing that is a shame. 
shield around us. There's a shield around us. The heart of the soul of Job. That the enemy can't touch. Touch the devil and say, can't touch this. You have to realize, a person that's holding up somebody, you don't want to hold up somebody who doesn't have anything. If you see a man walking down the street with a paper bag and he doesn't look right, you don't want to hold him up. You hold up somebody that's of importance. That you will gain something from it. Lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the man planted these seeds. Praise God. And as he planted these seeds, the enemy looked over and realized that the, the seeds were growing. And the seeds were being victorious. And the seeds were going places that he didn't like. So he decided to mess it up. But if the enemy decides to mess you, remember that God is with you. And if God is with you, you dare not walk alone. The enemy can't touch you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. The seeds that he planted, he knows that they are good seeds. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God sees what you're going through. He knows what you're planted. He knows the things that you're trying to achieve in life. But the enemy will sow tears, try to bring it down. But if God is with you, yes. you can make it. Yes. That's right. If God's hand is in it, right. you will make it. Yes. If God is around the throne and looking down at you and you're his children, he will not leave you. He will not forsake you. Oh, you. He'll be with you until the end. Amen. Give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. What's up, brother? See what the Lord has done. Yes. See what the Lord has done. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The seed he planted of integrity. You have to realize that we as children of God hold the DNA of God. God is our Father. And if you have a son or a daughter, they hold your DNA. If your DNA is good, then the child is good. If the child becomes poor, that's your poor child. If the child is rich, that's your rich child. If the child is sick, that's your sick child. That's right. God is our Father. And God is a merciful God. So we ought to be merciful. God is a loving God. So we ought to be loving. Yes, God is a kind God. Yes. So we ought to be kind. Yes, one to another. Right. Because we hold the DNA of God. And God is our Father. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When I think of where the Lord has brought me from. And many of us will say the same thing to where the Lord has brought us from. That's right. yes. A mighty long way. Mighty and where we are today is only Jesus. It's only Jesus. Yes, sir. But I thank God that we're connected to the throne of glory. Yeah. I thank God that central is never busy. And we're connected to Jesus. Yeah. Are you connected to Jesus this morning? Yeah. Are you connected to the King of Kings this morning? Be encouraged that God is with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy don't like you. The enemy don't like you. But once I said, thank God that Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. I thank God for the cleansing blood. I thank you for the cleansing blood. That washes white as snow. Glory to God. I thank God for the day when he touched me and when he touched you. Because it's because of that touch. 
why we're here this morning. Yes. It's because of that touch why we're here worshiping God this morning. Yes, Thank God for the day where we decided to follow Jesus. Yes. Thank God for the day when everything is behind us and Jesus is before us. Amen. Thank God for the day when we made Jesus our choice. Yes, there are many choices we could make in life. But we chose Jesus to be our first choice. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If it was for the enemy, you would want us to be worshiping this morning. But thank God we're sitting in heavenly places. Where we just say, thank you, Jesus. Because you came for a sinner like me. Thank you, Jesus. It's because of your blood I shed on Calvary where I'm here. Yes, sir. Things might not be what you want it to be. Amen. But you're still alive. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yep. You're still on the land of the living. Yes. And there's still time for you to work for Christ. Oh Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're a weed for God. And because you're a weed, the enemy don't like you. You're not the tears, you're the weeds for God. You're in God, God's garden. And you're flourishing. And when you're flourishing, the enemy won't like you. He will plant seed of this corn. He will plant seed of malice and strife. Because he don't like the way you're growing. Planting takes a lot. And sometimes the plant you have to go in and clear our own and clear their own. Right. So there will be things that will come and attack you. It's for you to clean and get them out. So you can grow as the Lord wants you to grow. Yeah. So you can blossom as the Lord wants you to blossom. So you can bloom the way the Lord wants you to bloom. Yeah. Yeah. They both grow. That's right. And there comes a time when they both came to maturity. Yes. And the wheat started to bear wheat. But the tears have nothing to bear. Because it's counterfeit. Yes. But thank God we're real for Jesus. Touch yourself as I'm real. If you're real, touch yourself. Thank you, Jesus. There comes a time when the tears come up. And he tries to destroy the wheat. But because Jesus was the farmer, he can't touch you. Because Jesus was the farmer that planted the wheat. He can't touch you. Yes. You have to realize that I went to the last five funerals and all five of them was almost cancer. So you don't realize in the past two weeks almost, you have to realize that the enemy don't like you. And they were all church people. And then you look and realize that the sinner is walking around. And the Christians are dying. The enemy is after you, but you don't realize that God will a shield around your soul. He can kill the body, but he can't touch your soul. He might touch you with cancer, but he can't touch your soul. Because the soul of man never dies. The soul lives on. So don't worry about this body. One of the days we all going to leave this either by the rapture or by death. We are going to go home one of these mornings. Yes. When the trump of God shall sound. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those that are alive and remain. Yes. You change your car, huh? yes. Can you imagine driving by Cypress Hills? And see the dead in Christ flying out? Uh, what a joy that will be knowing that your turn is coming. Yes. When you will leave this sinful world. You will leave this world of sin and troubles and trials. Pain and heartaches. Where the life of man doesn't count anymore. But thank God for the cleansing blood. Because of Jesus we have a lively hope. Because of Jesus there is a life. For a look at the crucified one. You have to realize that life is not important anymore. 
No matter how important you are, you could die today. And after a few days, they forget that you were ever born. You could be the president of your daddy. And after a week or so, they elect someone else. And ask who was Obama, this or who was that. You're gone. But if you anchor holes in Jesus when you die, gone but not forgotten. Hallelujah. What a beautiful thing it will be when we get to heaven. And Jesus says, Welcome home, my son. Welcome home, my daughter. You have been faithful throughout all these years in what I asked you to do. Yes. So if God asks you to do something, just do it. Yes. That's right. And do it joyfully, like the man that sang. Why should I feel this courage? Do it joyfully. Yes. Because you never know yes, sir. who you're impacting. You never know. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the cleansing blood. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Hallelujah. We all have something to praise God for this morning. That the enemy tells us that we would not be delivered from. But God delivered us from it. Yes. 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 The God delivered us from it. There are many things in our life that we would have think that we would ever come through. But the God that we serve brought us through. Once I said, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've learned to trust in God. Yes. 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 The enemy would like all of us to die because we're not serving him. That's right. But he can destroy the body. But he can't touch your soul. That's why you have to make sure that your soul is secure in Jesus. Things will come. But make sure your soul is secure. There are so many things that many of us could have turned back already. And situations we're in. But because we decided to make Jesus our choice, it's between you and Jesus. Yes. You can't rely on your father's salvation. You can't rely on your mother is saved, so I'm not saved, but I'm going to church with her. It's between you and Jesus. You made Jesus your choice. Your mother can't make you live right. No, your father can't make you live right. Your mother and your father will not be around when you're always by yourself. That's right. But Jesus, the unseen eye. Glory to God. God is everywhere. Yes, he is, yes, he is. And if you want to make it in, it's going to be you and Jesus. If you want the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you're going to have somebody to pray with you. But you have to take the time yeah. to see God for yourself for it. Yes, that is right. Oh, yeah. Because it's a feeling that you get when you have a one on one that you can't feel when you have two on two. There is something when you're in the car by yourself and you start speaking to God and say, Glory to God. Yeah. And it's you alone and Jesus.
It's a difference when God puts you. You can be praying for a long, long time, and then one day you start to pray, you start to see God. And God just melts you down. That you feel your heart, that heart that you have was so hard, like a rock. That you have things inside your heart that you hold up for a long time. God just melts it down. And the tears start to flow. That's when Jesus touched the heart and heart. There is something different when God really puts you one on one. There's a difference when God touch you one on one. Have you ever been on a train and you feel like you want to show for God? Yeah. But because of what do you call it? Not pride. Right. But you don't want people to call it cops. Are you don't you know what I'm saying? Yes. Or to say you're crazy, but you feel that something would bring you the pole. I was thinking you're gonna feel a night so much, and I'm sure you have to. We just sit and think what God has taken and delivered you from. You want to shout, you want to dance, you want to sing. Something all you got to do is groan like the grandmother. Mm. But God understands the groaning. He understands the groaning. That's right. Remember back in the days when you were sick and you know sometimes you were sick? Mm -hmm. And all you want to hear is grandmother groan. Mm -hmm. She can't sing, she don't know the G from the A chord. Mm -hmm. But when she said, Did I go dumb? God hear that? That's right. She put her hand on your head and said, Did I go? God is to understand every language. And he will flow through the body unto you. Because when you're connected, it makes a difference. If you don't pay your light bill and you go and flip the switch on when you get home, pull back at night, and you're tired, you know what's going to happen? Total darkness. Because you're disconnected from Cat Edison. They disconnect you. But if you pay your bill when you went home and turn on the switch, then you will see light. So it is if you're connected to God. When the enemy comes around and you say, Jesus, because you're connected, the enemy has to run. But if you're disconnected, when you say, Jesus, the enemy said, Jesus. Because he knows it ain't you. They don't know how to speak in tongues too. Yes. Yes. The enemy don't know how to dance like church people too. Yes. 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 But there's a difference. Yes. Go ahead. Because you're connected to the source of Jesus. Yes. And when you're connected, you have power yes. for service. Amen. When the enemy comes upon you like a flood. And you say, in the name of Jesus, take your flight. Because you're connected, you have to fly. He will test you. Because he loves to test the one that's connected. You have to realize the devil don't bother you. you know, when you just sit and you don't. When you sit and do nothing for God, the devil like that. You come and you sit in the back of church, over you go home and you come back and it's a repeat thing. You don't know, there's no challenge for him. He loves the challenge. And that's why you have to stay connected to the source of Jesus. Stay at the Jesus' feet. Get covered under his blood. So that when he comes, he will pass over your next door. And say, I can't touch that address. Because that address is covered. Let me try next door. Glory to God. Stay connected yes. with God. Yes. If you have to say thank you, Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Take some time to say thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship your name, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We adore your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. When nothing else could help, the love of God lifted me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We will get discouraged as believers. But hold on to God's unchanging hand. Yes, there is no better hope there. Oh my God. There is no better hope there. Jesus. Hold on to God and stay connected with Jesus. Because Central is never busy. And Jesus is always on the line. You can hear from heaven almost any time. It is the royal service. Oh, hallelujah. Do you thank God for the day when his blood touches you? Do you thank God for the day when his blood touches you? And because of that touch while you're here this morning, if it wasn't for that touch, it would have been somewhere else. But thank God for that touch. Thank God for the hand of Jesus that passed by everybody else and come directly to you. That's love. Thank God for the pains of blood. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. God is an untimed God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And I will always say that. That's right. 